yeah. Kenny, for you with introduction to training game and stuff like that, do you have certain things specific to you that you're looking for in the early days? Oh, definitely. I think we've, uh, as a staff, we've really tried to be intentional on, on how we start this and, and um, understanding where we need to get better. What are those things? Well, I think it, uh, first of all, you know, keep leaning on your defensive identity. So we, we kind of doubled down on that today. I think the guys were expecting like all this offense and big offensive day. And I'd say, you know, 70% of the practice is defense. So just reinforcing that's still got to be our, our identity. And then offensively, um, really work on the transition stuff, transition offense, getting our pace, pace up. Um, and then uh, ball movement, player movement. You know, I keep told the guys, the league has changed, right? It used to be just pace and space. Now it's pace and now, now a lot of movement, a lot of cutting, um, you know, uh, not, not standing in one place. Um, and then, you know, offensive rebounding will be a, another area where we're going to try to improve. So definitely some strategies involved with that. I've worked on that a little bit. It's interesting that you bring up defense because I think a lot of people around the NBA believe that you have an offensive reputation. Yeah. Um, so is it specific to this cap team because of the personnel that you want to continue to enhance the defense or is that just who you are? So I think, um, yeah, I think when you look at um, – when you look at a team, the first thing you do is well, what's what's their number one strength, right? And I think to go away from that is a mistake. You know, all of a sudden come in here and say, "Hey, I'm going to show you this big fancy off." So double down on your strength, and and then you know build. You know, we're going to build the offense. Um, you know, uh, bit by bit. Uh, I, I I don't told the guy I don't want to lose that identity. We got to we got to we got to double down on that. Yeah, that's a great question. It really is a great question. Can you, you know, can you do both? Does does pushing the pace, you know, does it make harder on defense? You could argue a little bit. Yeah, sure. If you're gonna if you're gonna play at a faster pace, you're gonna have more possessions, tougher to get back, all that stuff. Um, so um, we're gonna have to find that balance, right? Like. You know, if it becomes become too offensive oriented and it's affecting our defense, we're just gonna have to adjust as as uh, as the uh as we see it evolve. Um but that that was part of today, like right. I don't want all of a sudden to switch like we're gonna turn into this offensive juggernaut. That's that's, that's not the case. How much of your experience is turning up the potential, I guess, on offense rebound affecting defense? You can do both. I think if you're strategic about how you how how you go to the offensive boards, you can definitely do both. Um, I think we have a, a solid strategy in place. And again, I think, I think part of this is personnel based, right? Like we got, you know, I know when the Cavs went on that great run last year, J.A. was like the monster on the offensive boards, right? Evan could be, he could be more active on the offensive boards. Um, obviously Isaac, you know, cutter, slasher, offensive rebounder. So it's good. A little bit's going to be personnel based, um, but, uh, you definitely have to have a strategy. And you should, you know, you should be able to do both. I've been with really, really early. Yeah. Uh, what any impressions and what are your expectations for uh, Jalen Tyson? Oh man, well, he's been great in open gym, yeah. right? Um, really good. Um, he seems like one of those players that's going to find a way. Yeah. <laughs> he does a lot of things well. Um, maybe not an elite NBA skill right now, but uh, good cutter, good offensive rebounder. You know, all those things role players do. Um, funny, Mark Matson, his coach is here today, which I love. You know, Mark's a um, heck of a coach, played in the NBA a long time. But uh, he told me when we drafted him, uh, he goes, Jalen's going to end up in your rotation pretty soon. <laughs> you know, that's how much confidence he has in him. So uh, it's been, he's been really, really intriguing and played well the first day of camp. They brought up offensive rebounding Friday and today why is it so important for this team that can get I I think when you look at playoff series you know a lot of a lot of times it comes down to a possession game possessions become really important especially when teams know each other really well um so my experience in the league uh you know says that that, that it, it becomes a really important thing in, in 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 playoff basketball so winning that possession game Obviously, it's not just rebounds, right? It's turn winning a turnover game, free throw get all that, but you know, uh, rebounding's a, a big part of it. And then 
you can't forget too, like defensive rebounding, right? Like we've had some, you know, issues there in the past, and now team more teams are crashing. I think we all see it in the league, so we're gonna have to, you know, have to do it on 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 both ends. Uh, James, please unmute yourself. Ask your question, James Hill. Hey, coach! Congratulations on all of your success. Talk a little hey, bit James. about. Talk a little bit about the Cavs as you guys come down to Florida and get a camp in at IMG. It's a little different. A little different. I I think it's uh for my first year it's perfect, right? Like I don't I'm not sure you know about the players, but my 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 my, my opinion is that it's a perfect timing. Really get to uh you know um kind of be be with the players and 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 our staff, but honestly in a closed setting. And then this facility is like magnificent. Like I, 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 I heard it was nice, but it's way better than I thought. Um, free courts, um, just a beautiful like campus setting. Um, I'm, I'm really glad we made the choice to come down here. Coach, you have a ball club with a lot of talent. They went to the playoffs. What would you like to see to tweak this team and, and take it to even a higher level? Yeah, it's the small wins, right? All the stuff we we were talking about, you know, it's it's doubling down on the defense, incremental offensive improvements, and then, you know, every player getting a little better, right? Everybody, everybody stepping it up, stepping up a little better, uh, a little more. Um, you know, uh, pre practice today we had our, uh, um, you know, I had our individual workouts, uh, which normally I don't do in training camp, but I felt like. We wanted to set the tone today, and and uh, so each guy got uh, you know their 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 individual on court, and uh, we're gonna keep that up through camp. So um, everybody getting a little bit better, you know those those individual workouts like they they go a long way when you start the starts that those minutes start accumulating over the season. You'll see guys you'll see guys start to get better. Thank you, coach. Thank you, uh, Evan. Unmute yourself. Ask your question. Hey, Kenny, hope you uh, had a safe trip down there. Uh, but my question for you is, you had mentioned before just IMG's facilities and everything else, just how great it is, but also just that campus aspect too. And since you are and your staff are all new to some of these guys, like, is this a good opportunity for you guys just to get closer before the season starts versus just like a regular training camp? 100%, because, you know, normally if you do this at home, you, you know, practice and everybody goes home. Uh, but now we're going to have a, we're going to have a, uh, film session tonight, you know, where we'll all be together and then we'll, we'll eat dinner together. Right. I, I feel like I'm back, uh, with the French national team, you know, like <laughs> you're just, you're just, uh, constantly with the group, but I think we need that. Right. And, uh, especially like you said, more, more, maybe more for the staff than, than, than the players. And I know a big focus for a lot of folks is Evan Mobley shooting more threes, but Jarrett Allen did joke yesterday that, he was going to talk to you about shooting some three pointers. Are you open to the concept of Jay uh, pulling up from the perimeter? He's got to prove it. He's got to prove it. Uh, got to prove it to me. And and yeah, we do deep dives on each guy's shooting. Like what, you know, we have uh, you know, we have a lot of in game data. Obviously, we get the Noah data. You know, we we have all these metrics. We can we have free throw shooting, which we know free throw shooting, good free throw shooting equals, um, you know, uh. uh you know, uh, confidence in, in the three-point shooting round. So uh, we'll keep looking at it. Um, but again, Jay has got to prove, he's got to prove it to me. Thank you. All right. Spencer. Hey, Coach. I know a lot of you guys don't like to talk about yourselves in this respect, but this is your first training camp in a little while as a head coach. So I was just curious what it's like for you personally, just coming back into this as, you know, the guy at the top. Yeah, that's a great, you know, I felt rusty today, <laughs> you know, you're just not in a, you know, I, I haven't had reps in a long time. Um, so it was good, good to get back, uh, get, get, you know, get back in this head seat. And, you know, thank God I got a, a, a great staff around me. I mean, we got, we got so many people to support you. So even, even a little slippage, you know, you're, you're, you're being, you know, as I say, things are going to fall through the cracks, you know, can your assistants, can your support staff pick you up? Uh, but that definitely felt a little rusty. And then just for the guys, you, you spoke so highly of the depth of this team. I'm, I'm just curious, what is it, what are the factors that you're looking for, for those guys towards, you know, kind of the end of the rotation to crack it? Are you you're talking about our main guys, like the Evan? Are you, who are you uh, talking the, 
the guy's more towards you know the you know ninth, tenth, eleventh man. Like what what is it going to take for them to get those spots? Yeah. So I think um, you know I I told the guys today like one one of our part of our identity is our depth, right? And and it's first of all giving those guys opportunities. Um, I've always believed in playing a lot of people. Um, giving a lot of people uh, opportunities, giving the bench opportunities, giving two ways opportunities. So there's there's going to be enough to go ra- around when it's all said and done. But I tell you, I, I told one of the assistants after I said, man, there, there's, you know, we got a lot of rotation players. So to keep this roster, you know, everybody happy and, and getting enough, uh, you know, minutes, you know, communication's got to be great between me and me and me and those guys. But it's uh it's going to be a battle for those, uh, you know, those eight, nine, and ten spot, spots, the rotation spots. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Kenny. Um, you're walking into a situation with a, a pretty established roster, but obviously you're also implementing some new things, some new systems. Um, I guess as you – as you've seen teams evolve throughout the course of a season, how do you balance, you know, wanting immediate daily results while also understand that understanding that maybe some patience is needed as well? Yeah. And, and, uh, and that's, you know, my mindset's been, you know, this doesn't, this isn't an overhaul, right? We're not changing all our pick and roll coverages. Um, I would say there's more tweaks and little things we're, we're, we're adjusting. Um, so that I, th- I think it'd be a big mistake to come in here and try to do too much. So, that's that's part of uh, you know part of my job, a part of our staff's job, is to really lean into the good things that that this team has done, and then and then give little tweaks here and there, little pushes here and there. Um, but that's uh, you know that's a um, you know it's a, it's a challenge, right? Because you have your system, the way you've done it in the past, and the way you've seen it with Golden State and the Clippers and Brooklyn. Um, so again, I'm 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 leaning into what 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 these guys do well right now, and then. And you know, tweaking tweaking the stuff, I think we can get better at. Okay, we're gonna go with the last two here in person. Chris and Vantage. Kenny, going back to defense. Yeah. Um, what specifically do you use to quantify yeah. defensive success? Defensive efficiency rating. Yeah, and, and not only in uh, um, um, not only from a team aspect, but also individuals. So you can you can see people's individual defensive ratings. Um, so that's. Now look, I always look at the team metrics, obviously, and, and, and but then from uh, individual, we'll do the same thing. That's a big part of player development, right? Like, where does the guy rank in in on ball pick and roll defense? What percentile is he in? Is in his position? So we 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 have all that data. It's a great way to deep dive into your defense and offense, quite honestly. So, and you have specific principles that you're trying to instill in the guys like no middle yeah so yeah so we you know um shot profile is a big one but we have our kpis you know our key performance index stuff that we're emphasizing um and and you know we, we started that that process today what we're looking um shot profiles are obviously always always number one you know we're we've always been no rim no paint like we're protecting that like like crazy and then and we're going to be a great contest, multiple effort contest team. Uh, you know, three point shooting variance is like you. You know, you you play a little bit of a risky game there. But again, we get we get great feedback from our analytics. It's good that they it, it, it can tell you if you're on course or not, right? Um, so uh, we we definitely look at look at all that all that data. With Evan, you mentioned on Friday playmaking, yeah. trailing and transitioning, a little bit of shooting as far as expanding the offense. I mean, he echoed a lot of that yesterday. Yeah. Is there something there that sort of takes priority for him? Is the first thing that you see for that don't go? I think the rebound and push, I would say that's prior, you know, number one. Like, is he, you know, rebounding and um, is he, you know, busting out more? That's busting out. Now you got your, you know, the court space. Um, and that's part of the. It's a little bit part of solving the big bigs, you know, kind of situation. You've got one big handling, right? And and you have the other big kind of in the dunk, you're kind of in normal, kind of normal spacing, right? Does that make sense? So um, but that's a big one, and giving him more freedom to to push the ball and transition. Okay, 